welcome to this year's BookNet Fest vlog. I meant to vlog when I went last year, but I didn't, so I'm hoping to get more footage for this year so I can actually put up a BookNet Fest vlog. It's currently Wednesday evening at like 7 something at night. I've been spending most of the day chilling at the house. I did end up finishing Again But Better this afternoon, so I'm bringing this with me to have Christine sign it. And I'm hoping to finish Brightly Burning by then. I haven't started it because for the readathon, this is the book I chose to read only at night. And I don't really want to change that right now, so I'm going to be reading this tonight and then possibly tomorrow night. And I'm also planning on bringing Kingsbane with me, as well as Siege and Storm, which is in the other room. My cousin has been here since, I think, Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Because I weighed out the hurricane, because our house, like, we were, we live uh, more west than they do. They came over to kind of have, like, a hurricane party, so if you're not from Florida, you probably don't know what that is, but it's okay. So far, all I have packed for Booknet Fest is the books that I'm bringing, and then my notebook for notes, and my iPad in case... I don't want to write anymore, so I've got those. I have to do one more load of laundry, get a shower, actually get everything packed up. Also, my face looks super red because I got sunburnt the other day and didn't put any aloe on it. So I was out with my cousins on Monday. I was outside with them, like making sure that, you know, they didn't do anything stupid in the pool and stuff like that. And just kind of just spending time outside because I'm not outside very often. And I got a lot of sunburn on my face, so... Hopefully it'll be better before BookNet Fest this weekend. I'm going to put some aloe on it tonight before I go to bed. And hopefully it'll be better, but if not... Oh well, it's a pale girl problem, I guess. <laughs> so, it's a little bit later. It's like almost 1.30 in the morning. I'm about to head to bed. But I want to give a little update. I am mostly packed for BookNet Fest. I have to do some laundry to pa finish packing. So, I'm almost... Done. This week I've been watching Twitter and Discord and all that stuff and hopefully everybody that is in the path of Hurricane Dorian is safe. We did not get really much of anything. We got a little bit of wind. Uh, was it Tuesday was a little rainy and yet yesterday it was a little windy so we really didn't get much of anything. So I'm hoping that those who are affected are safe and okay. So it is now Saturday, technically Saturday morning at like 1am. I unfortunately was not able to go to BookNet Fest yesterday because I didn't have the money to pay for parking for both days and the registration. So I decided that rather than try to go fr just Friday, I decided to go just Saturday. So in the morning I'm going to be leaving. Probably I have a couple errands to run super fast before I do venture to Orlando. So I will be there hopefully about 9.30, 10 o'clock before the first panel starts. I have everything packed up, so I have my outfit for tomorrow picked out. I have a change of clothes just in case I end up having to crash up there. Um, I have my swimsuit just in case, because you never know when you're going to go swimming. So I have that, and I have some books, like a couple books I can read. I've got some, like, my, like my multivitamins and stuff that I can take on the go. Some drinks, I'm going to be packing a couple water bottles and stuff. Probably stopping, actually, <laughs> knowing me, I always stop at Wawa on my way to Orlando because Wawa is life. And if you're from the Mid-Atlantic or have been to Florida in the last few years, you definitely will agree that Wawa is life. And two for four Sizzlies, I'm making a stop in the morning. So I'm super excited to see all of my BookNet friends again and get some actual really good vlog footage. Because every time I see somebody that I that wants to be on camera of course I'm going to be asking so everybody that's going to be on camera in this vlog I have asked before I filmed if they want to be in it and if they say no then I'm not gonna do it but if they say yes that they will be in my vlog but I'm really super excited to see everyone again and meet new friends and everything like that I am kind of a little bummed that Christine and Jesse couldn't make it because their flights got canceled I'm pretty sure that's why because Hurricane Dorian is, a, it was a mess last week. Last week was a mess. It was, it was terrible. So I'm going to be getting some sleep and then waking up super early in the morning, which my alarm set for 6.30. So I will be able to get everything ready, pack the car up, and head to Orlando. Alrighty, so it is now Saturday morning. Excuse the lighting because the sun is still coming up. It is currently 7.49 in the morning. I'm getting ready to leave to go to BookNet Fest day two, so I'm super excited to see everybody again, and I 
OTD, basically I'm wearing my one of my pineapple shirts, which I'll get a very better view of later. I'm wearing one of my pineapple shirts and a skirt and then sandals. And I have everything I need for tonight and today and everything like that. So let's get going. So I am currently sitting in the second panel for BookNet Fest. I got here about 9.30 and checked in. And we went to the first panel, which was called Spoiler Sweetie. And it was a lot of fun. It was a really good conversation between everybody. So I'm really excited to be here again. The next panel is called The Intersection of Reading and Writing Books. So I'm super excited for that one because I have a couple of books that I want to finish writing and hopefully get published anytime in the near future. So it's about to start and I will update you after it's over. Also, I just tried the Mimosa Lanyo Energy Drink and it's super good. If you love orange flavored things, you're gonna love this. So it is a few hours later, now it's like 7.30. <clears throat> I just came up, back out to my car to grab my charger because my phone's dying. And for an event like this, you definitely want to keep your phone charged because you never know when you're going to be able to vlog or anything like that. I didn't really vlog much today, not because I didn't have my charger until now, but just I was so into like catching up with my friends and talking to everybody that I just didn't want to do it. So I'm going to go back inside and change for prom and then... I will meet you back here. Well, Booknet Fest 2019 was a success. It was so much fun. I am now walking up the stairs to get to my car because I have to go pay for my parking pass and I have to pay cash for it because I didn't realize that they took $2 out of my bank account for a paper statement which I have to go talk to them about on Monday because I didn't do it today. So I'm doing that and then meeting Teresa and some friends at Waffle House for some food because I didn't technically have dinner, I just had a snack. So we'll catch up soon. So it is now Sunday afternoon. I just got changed because I have an event at church today. I got home at like 3.10 this morning. I fell asleep until 10.30 so I went to the 11.30 church service to help out with preschool. So I am going to be doing my book Nefest book haul when I get home tonight and then I will be making a separate video that will be my book Nefest experience. I acquired seven books at BookNet Fest from either the book swap or sponsors or arcs or anything like that and the first one I want to talk about is one I've already had and it's Brightly Burning by Alexa Dawn but the thing is is she signed my book for me where's the page she signed my book because she was Alexa was at BookNet Fest again this year I met her last year and she is a sweetheart I love her so much and she signed my copy of Brightly Burning because I told her that uh, between panels I mentioned that I was already I'm already obsessed with Brightly Burning I'm like 10 pages in and I'm already obsessed and then she asked if I wanted an arc of her new book which is The Stars We Steal and this comes out in February of 2020 so I'm really excited to pick this up after I finish Brightly Burning <laughs> I know that this is a retelling but I don't remember what story it it's a retelling of and let you know what retelling it is but it sounds super super intriguing and I'm really excited to get to it so Thank you so much, Alexa, for this. And one of the sponsors for this year's BookNet Fest was a newer publisher called Little Bee Books. We could pick up our choice of one of three books. I chose Only the Stars Know Her Name, Amanda Marone. I'm sorry if I butcher your name. I'm very sorry. But this is basically about the era of the Salem Witch Trials. I don't know much about it, except it takes place the year after they happen. And it, I love stories about the Salem Witch Trials. It's going to be October, so I'm really excited to pick this up in October. And... There was a couple of them that sounded really good as well, so I'm probably hoping gonna pick those up as well later on in the future. Between panels, we had some time to just chill and chit chat and stuff like that. And I talked to Zena from Stitches Media Mix, which I will link her info down in the description box below. I'll link her Instagram and her Twitter. She go follow her, she's super nice. And she gave me an arc all about Mia. This came out in 2017, but she gave me an arc of it. 
that she had. She didn't care for it too much, but it sounds really intriguing to me, so hopefully I like it, and if not, I'm still gonna keep it because it's from a friend. Ne these next four books are from our book swap, and what it was is I forgot my entire pile of unhaul books here at the house because my cousin was in here sleeping this week. It, like this week, he spent the week over with us because he didn't have school or anything. So I had like an entire pile of unhaul books up there, like over on the shelf, and I didn't grab any of them, and I feel like just terribly dumb for it. But when I was looking at the books, I was just like looking, and Alicia gave me a a ticket for one of the books, and I was like, okay, cool. And when I was in line for the book swap, I was behind Zena. She gave me more tickets. So I still ended up getting giving three back to them because I didn't see any books that I really, really wanted. And I decided, you know, rather than me get books that don't, don't interest me, I'll give it to somebody who who will want them. It's called The Secret Diamond Sisters by Michelle, what is it? Michelle Maddow. I'm sorry if I butcher your name. And this is a really interesting one because I got Chloe's copy from the Brunette Bibliophile, which I will link her channel in the description box as well. So it's really interesting because I was going through these seeing like if I could find it, like just seeing what they're about, seeing the synopsis. And this one is about three sisters who find out that their dad is a billionaire and end up going from a small town life to life in Las Vegas. And I realize it's not all like glitz and glamour like living in cities is to outside people. And then the next book I got is called Tandem, which just came out a few years ago. I am in a Facebook book club with one of my friends and she or another admin of the group mentioned this book when it first came out and it, since then it's been on my TBR so I'm really glad I have it finally. But basically it's about a girl who finds her doppelganger, which this kind of story always intrigues me, like alternate universes. It's one of my favorite things to read about. And then the next one I have is called Love Letters to the Dead. And this one sounds really, really interesting. There was actually quite a few copies of it, which I hope it doesn't mean that's like not a good book because I hope it is. And this one is about a girl who lost her sister at a young age and she, her, she gets an assignment from her English teacher to write love letters to people who have since passed away. And she chose Kurt Cobain because, like, for the first one, because he also passed away when he was young, and his and her sister did as well. So I'm really excited to read this one. And she starts like writing different letters to people who passed away. And I'm really excited to read this one. Last one I have to talk about is Haunted in Hollywood by Loie Lane. And this one sounds really interesting. It's about a YouTuber, any like YouTuber vlogger, and I will link her channel in the description box below. And I'm gonna check her out because of this book. And basically, she gets a call for a, to do a photo shoot in a, a haunted Los Angeles hotel. So she leaves her small town life in Kansas and goes to Los Angeles and realizes that the place is haunted. And I'm really excited to read this in October as well. I love, I love me some haunted October reads. Like, they're the best. So those are all the books I got at BookNet Fest. I was super glad I was able to go. Thank you to everybody that was able to go and everybody that put together. So Sam, Marinas, and Caitlin, Alicia, everybody, like all the volunteers, all the panelists, all the authors that were there. If you were not able to make it, I'm like terribly sorry about the hurricane. <laughs> There's nothing unfortunately we could have done about that, but it's still like I hope that in the future everybody's able to make it to BookNet Fest because it's such an amazing event. so much for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and go ahead and smash the subscribe button below and i will see you soon with a new video thank you <laughs>